Not all disabilities can be seen on the outside. Millions of people suffer from invisible disabilities and can be either mental or physical disorders. One theatre group in Carlisle is putting on a short performance highlighting the issues faced by sufferers as part of the Living With project. The Living With project is a series of um, arts installations and performances um, focusing on invisible disabilities, so conditions that people have to live with but we can't necessarily see and therefore people don't always understand. A lot of people, uh, they experience a great deal of stigma. Um, we touch on that in the piece that we're doing at the moment, things like being able to have the, uh, the priority seating on public travel and things like that. It's just kind of, it's, it's not happening in the way that it would with a visible disability. So it's really to raise awareness and change people's perspectives on things, to make the lives of uh, those suffering with those conditions just a little bit easier. A lack of understanding has led to many sufferers feeling stigmatised by these conditions. The aim of the project is to try and break the stigma and invite people to learn about these disabilities and give sufferers a place to go and open up. Fibromyalgia is quite a controversial condition. There's uh, a lot of people who kind of, there's been a lot of debate as to whether or not it is a kind of real condition, whether it's psychological, whether it's physical, but there, there, there is a lot of uh, stigma that people face with it and a lot of people who, um, I guess it's being diagnosed more and more, but people still don't really understand it. I think having a disability, whether it's mental or physical, um, can be incredibly isolating. You can feel very lonely and very judged by people. So I think to see, oh, there's a, we've had a lot of excitement actually with this one, people going, oh, I know someone who, who's got that. Um, so I think, I think, yeah, I think solidarity is something that we very much want to encourage and help because we've got people with invisible disabilities in the cast and crew and we know that it would make us feel better. The Word for Word Theatre Group will be using Carlisle's old fire station for the performances and are urging people to get involved in whatever way they can. The performances are on at the old fire station uh, upstairs in the parquet room on the 20th, 21st, 22nd and 23rd. Um, doors are open from 7 o'clock. Uh, the show is half an hour, uh, but we're going to do it three times a night. So there'll be one show on at half past seven, then half an hour gap. We're going to invite people to come and have a free cup of tea to chat to us about it. Uh, another one at half past eight and then another one at half past nine. So. If you have a mobility issue, if you need to get a babysitter, if you're relying on public transport and you're worried that you won't be able to get there for a specific time, there's going to be another one on. So we want to make it as accessible as possible. That's the other reason why it's free. The hope is that this project will help people realise the disabilities that are hidden matter too. Chris Stott, that's TV.